Hello everyone and welcome to Plastic Models by a Regular Dude. Um, I have noticed in my many videos I've posted, I've never actually done uh, a man room video. I've done of my workstation, my paint station, stuff like that, but never of the whole, you know, area where me and the, me and the men in the house hang out. And I'm partially inspired due to John Moore and his uh, cool little tour and Steve Mottram and his tour that he did. So I figured I'd do one real quick and let you see what uh, my messy uh, area looks like. So without further ado, let me flip my viewfinder here around and move the camera. So let's start over here. Uh, this is the entryway here. Yahoo. Um, this side, can all see what that is, I hope. That is some uh, muscle building devices, known as dumbbells. Up here, got some, uh, a lot of hats that I have uh, accumulated back in the day whenever I was uh, driving the vehicle for field trips for the school. Now, let me point something else out here for you. There's my American flag being patriotic. Uh, these are the five windows on the facing south, which means the sun beats down on them all day, every day that the sun is out. And that is why I have to turn this noisemaker on here, my AC unit. So that's the that's the culprit right there that's the thing that's always making noise that some people just really don't like so that's it it's off right now I'm being nice uh, there's my so one of my son's work area there as you can tell it's very neat and tidy here is a uh, area where I have my uh, stuff relating to my grandfather um, and his military service right there some photographs that's not him that is his uh, that was the commanding general of the 76th division that's my grandpa up there and various hats bicycling helmets stuff like that there right there is my uh, uh, black pearl that my mom gave me from the motion picture Pirates of the Caribbean and down there some old books, old Bibles from various relatives and so forth. Um, and some of my World War II related books there. Books related to the 76th Infantry Division and the 417th Infantry Regiment. Some very old. Printed in 1946, just before and just after the occupation. Um, the uh, 76th Division newspaper got a couple of those. Those are kind of groovy. Some other stuff. One of these days I might do a video on all that stuff, but not right now. Some of my signs. And then here is um, my son's little cabinet. With uh, He likes to collect figures. And a 148 scale Firefly that he did. It's really cool. This right here, I'm into bicycling, and I have a friend that works for the county. And any signs that they uh, replace, as, as you can see, this one's like all, you know, all the reflective materials all crackled up. Um, and he gets these, you know, with permission. They aren't stolen. They're in the dumpster, and he gets permission. But like this one here, since I'm into bicycling, he got this for me. He works for the county. Uh, then we have... Some other signs, and then here's my cabinet with uh, some of my models that I've completed of late. Nope. This is a very old color enhanced photograph, period color enhanced, mind you, not you know some modern thing of my great grandmother. Oh, let's see a little uh, quilt thing that my mother-in-law made for me to hang out here. More cycling stuff. And as you can see, I have my festive uh, red pepper, red chili pepper lights. I like to turn on from time to time. Here is a rug that my 
uh, one of my younger brothers made for me uh, JT Racing it's a company that's been around a long time makes uh, motorcycle riding gear and accessories and stuff he made this for me probably around 1979 1980 something like that uh, my grandpa's old guitar my dad's uh, they called them nightsticks they might call them billy clubs elsewhere from when he was in the sheriff's department around here there's my uh, letter from track in high school and uh, our champion foot with wing thing from 1980 for uh, track and field then this abomination right here is my son's desk as you can see he's quite organized kind of like the other one there uh, paint station all my drawers where I keep all my Vallejo paints that I'm starting to phase out more acrylic paints tape weathering supplies in here uh, q-tips slash cotton buds depending on where you're from essential part of any modeling equipment drawer uh, that is my airbrush cleaning kit all my little uh, they're condiment containers that I use for you see a lot of times that I use for uh, painting stuff droppers whatnot um, lots of tools clamps stuff I don't use quite as frequently sandpaper um, my extra airbrush my single action pache which oddly enough still works great and there's the box for it more painting stuff um, these are handy rags to have for paintings etc here is the actual work surface itself you guys have seen that before with a uh, the project that's coming up here pretty soon a few more models there why is that light off Ding. there you go there's my paint mule right there my uh, p47 it's an old Lindbergh kit so that's where all the all the stuff happens I've got this dandy little uh, drawer where I keep extra parts and anything I'm using currently same with you know their masking kits decals for current projects this awesome chair I don't I think my wife got that from me from somewhere but it's an old one it's an old diner type chair and it's really comfy and perfect for uh, for my desk it's got this hideous orange color it's just really awesome love it printer right here the old handy dandy laptop where all the video magic happens for plastic models by a regular dude my uh, I use this for I always had a hard time with my small work surface here I always had a hard time having my box over here of whatever kit I'm working on and making my work area smaller so I got my little rolling cabinet out put it over here that way I can set the box on top of here when I'm not using it I can shove it back underneath the desk but this has got all kinds of you know spare parts my uh, styrene sheets and shapes and rod and strips extra parts here decals back here I've got tons of decals I got decals I've had for probably 40 years in there and I'll never use and then all my old instructions and some of my reference type things that I browse from time to time right here is my kind of storage area stash type kind of thing I've um, got the Kaizen tracks right whoops right there for a Panther build that I'll do someday uh, hospital ship there which is going to be scratch built because it's the same it's the correct hull into a uh, ship called the Marine Raven which is a ship that brought my grandfather back from Europe during World War II um, upcoming group build kit there for Joe's T-34 group build uh, that's my little container there that I keep figures in that I keep saying I'm gonna paint someday 
Uh, that little container there is full of figures and parts. Uh, there's the Messerschmitt ME262 by Monogram that I'm going to finish up for one of the beginner projects. Uh, that's the box that I was actually working on before the paint got tweaked. Uh, more spare parts and then my uh, airbrush box there. All that groovy stuff. And then here is the FW190 project that I'm working on. Waiting for it to cool off a little bit so I can do the primer and paint on that. Uh, my little refrigerator for beverages and no fellas and fellettes, there is no alcohol in this house so it's full of juice boxes and water. Juice boxes got rehooked on those when I was in the hospital and that was my uh, part of my liquid diet for all the stuff they had to do and uh, got rehooked so me and the me and the kids are just uh, guzzling juice boxes again so there's some in here and then there's some in the main fridge but nope no alcohol sorry guys strongest drink in this house is coffee dark roast and then right here um, I used to race BMX back in the day that is a SE Racing poster that my wife got for me or banner I should say uh, because I was co-sponsored by SE Racing and that is the frame and fork that I used to race back then I've had that since August 1981 my grandfather bought that for me for my birthday SE Racing quad angle most awesome BMX bike ever made and that sign right there, the same friend that got me the bicycle sign, he got this for me, which is really awesome because that was my hometown uh, whenever I was younger, on into high school, graduated from high school in uh, the area where this town is. So he got me that sign. I was really stoked, so I had to hang that up. So that's pretty much it. So you have had a very brief rapid-fire tour of the plastic models dude man tunnel and the reason I call a man tunnel instead of a man cave because the cave only has one entrance the tunnel has two the one behind me and the one on that end of the building so it's a tunnel it's not a cave so that's it hope you guys enjoyed that really quick tour thanks uh, John and Steve for the inspiration and as always I will see you all later on plastic models by a regular dude